Go. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Borenstein, the editor of Psychiatric News, and I'm here with Dr. Saul Levin, who is joining the APA as its new CEO and medical director. Saul, welcome. Okay. Good morning. Thank you so much for this. You know. I want to jump in and ask okay. you about your vision okay. for APA moving forward. Okay. Well, APA is the preeminent psychiatry uh, organization, medical organization in the country. So when you say my vision, the only thing I could say is we do represent our psychiatrists to the best of our abilities. And I think my vision is how do we see where we can always do a little better from the membership perspective and uh, ask our members what is their needs and make sure we fulfill them. And I think that's my big vision. We're a membership organization. Let us really uh, connect with our members in a way that they want to go to those who aren't members and say, you know, you need to join because we are adding value to them. So really, what can we do for our members and also for our members to, to be able to do an even better job with their patients? Okay. And I think you're right. Our ultimate goal here is for our patients. And I think the first thing we've got to look at is under the Affordable Care Act, uh, clearly the practice of medicine is going to change. Our healthcare del delivery system is going to change. So how do we uh, help our members begin to adjust to those changes? And we have various different practices amongst our constituents, you know, from fee-for-service to small group to large groups. Uh, and then we have our researchers and our clinicians you know, uh, that are in academic centers. So I think what we've got to do is begin to help each of those, whatever their practice is, begin to adapt to the Affordable Care Act as we begin to know what is going to be in terms of healthcare delivery in this country. Clearly, healthcare exchanges are going to be a very big part of that. So I'm hopeful that in our vision and our mission that we will help each and every state begin to ensure that parity for mental health, substance abuse is included in all those essential health benefits packages and that we have equity in terms of how a patient goes in to see their doctor and that they are treated just like any other patient in the healthcare delivery system where it doesn't cost them more. Well, Obviously those are very important issues is how we as a profession and we as an organization can work together for the benefit of our patients. And I'm looking forward to working with you moving forward on those and other important initiatives. I'm looking forward to it. And in fact, it is your, your psych news uh, and all the other vehicles we use for communications is uh, the way we get our message out to not just the nation, but to our members and also to our non-members. And that's what I'm hoping we're going to be doing here. Great. Thanks a lot. Good. Welcome. Thank you. Good.